This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And of course, while firefighters and rescue crews are preparing to assist people down south, once Isaac actually hits, a local animal shelter is already helping our mm -hmm. four-legged friends. The Long Island shelter is moving cats and dogs to higher ground. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne is live for us in Port Washington with the animal rescue operation that is already underway, right Kristen? Yes, absolutely. Hi there, guys. We're here at the North Shore Animal League, and we have Dabney here helping me out with this little kitten because she is getting a little, you know, wants to jump out. She's very excited because she just got rescued and got here. She is one of about 40 kittens and cats now here at the shelter. There are also about 50 dogs on the way, and they all need a home. They don't have names yet, and no one really knows their personalities, although some seem pretty obvious. What's for certain is that these kittens are in desperate need of homes. They've just arrived at the North Shore Animal League after being evacuated from southern Mississippi in the advance of Hurricane Isaac. We're putting out a plea to the public to head down to North Shore Animal League America's headquarters and to adopt a pet. If you've been thinking about it, it's the perfect week. These are the pictures from the rescue at the Humane Society of Southern Mississippi. The North Shore Animal League deployed two of its mobile units to bring back the cats and about 50 dogs. The dogs will arrive later tonight in Port Washington. Some of the volunteers, though, are staying. We also deployed another mobile unit to be in the area for the aftermath in case there's any, you know, if any, any of the shelters need help, if there's displaced pets, whatever we can do to offer assistance. It's not too unfamiliar from what the League did during Hurricane Katrina. In the year following the devastating hurricane, the League rescued more than 1,300 dogs and cats. And once again, space in the shelter is a problem. Just this afternoon, the league brought in more than 60 puppies from puppy mills in Missouri and Kansas, meaning there now is a packed house at the shelter, and they're hoping people have it in their hearts to adopt. And it also helps us to continue our rescue efforts by opening up space for more animals to come in. And this is one of the puppies rescued from that puppy mill. And I should add that there also are dogs that came in from those mills as well. As for those dogs from Mississippi, they are expected to arrive around 11 o'clock tonight. We're live in Port Washington. Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, cute little dog. That's a sweetie. Hello, cutie. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> I want to. Still out on 